next grammar point is the days of the week and dates. Let's start with the days of the week. The word week in Hindi is hafta or sapta. The days of the week sometimes have alternate forms too. It is important to know the alternate forms too. They are quite commonly used. Sunday is Ravivar or Itwar. Monday is Somvar. Tuesday is Mangalwar or simply Mangal. Similarly, Wednesday is Budhwar or simply Budh. Thursday has a few alternate forms. Guruvar, Braspativar or little rarely but quite commonly used Veerwar. Friday is Shukravar. Saturday is Shaniwar or Sanichar. Let's take some example sentences. Aaj Mangalwar hai, kal Budhwar hai aur kal Somvar tha. Today is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday and yesterday was Monday. The word kal means both yesterday and tomorrow. It is always clear with the context. The days of the week go with the postposition ko. If you want to say on Saturday, it will be shaniwar ko or sanichar ko. The postposition ko is used if you want to say something happened on a particular day. Somvar ko chutti hai. Monday is a day off. The literal translation is the day off is on Monday. Agle sapta shukurwar ko uski shadi hai. His, her wedding is taking place on Friday next week. Let's now learn how to say the dates in Hindi. First, we should learn how the European calendar months are pronounced in Hindi. They are quite similar to the English pronunciation with a little Indian bent. January is January. February is February. March is March. April is April. May is May, June is June, July is July, August is August, September is September, October is October or October, November is November, and December is December. The months go with the postposition May. In January would be January May. For dates, Hindi uses cardinal numbers, the basic numbers, and the dates take the postposition ko. So, on January 5th would be 5 January ko. The word tarikh, that means date, is often used after the number. For example, 5 tarikh ko means on 5th. Sometimes for the first and the second day of the month, the ordinal numbers are used. Pahli tarikh ko on 1st, dusri tarikh ko on 2nd. The word tarikh is feminine, that's why the ordinal number for the first and second are in feminine form. Here are some examples how to make sentences asking and telling dates. Aaj kya tarikh hai? Aaj kaun si tarikh hai? Both of them mean what is the date today. Aaj teen january hai? Aaj january ki teen tarikh hai? Both mean today is january 3rd. As I mentioned, the dates take the postposition ko. So, sola november ko. November ki sola tarikh ko mean on November 16th. Hum char march ko bharat jayenge. We'll go to India on March 4th. Ve teis agast ko film dekhenge. They will see the movie on August 23rd. And finally the years. Years are expressed as in English. The post position May is used. In 1947, 1947 May. In 2006, 2006 May. Rita mein padti thi. Rita studied here in 2006. The word sun is used before number, but usually dropped in conversational Hindi. Sun mein, in 2006. And for BC, before Christ, the phrase Isa Pur is used. Sun 120 Isa Pur mein, in 120 BC.